Hi, I am Dr. Vijay Rao. I am a consultant working in rheumatology department in Manipal Hospitals, Bangalore. Most commonly joints are affected but can also affect eyes affecting a part called sclera called sclero-malacia. It can affect cornea called corneal melt or corneal thinning. It can affect lungs causing rheumatoid nodules or what we call as interstitial lung disease where the lung architecture is distorted and oxygenation is impaired and hence affecting heart as well. Also in the lungs it can cause fluid collection called serocytis or pleural effusions. In, to put in simple terms it's nothing but collection of fluid around the lungs. The same thing can happen around the heart as well called pericardial effusion and rheumatoid arthritis can affect blood causing anemia where the hemoglobin production is affected. It can affect spleen which is an organ involved in immune system where the spleen gets enlarged and very rarely with people with rheumatoid arthritis it can lead to some kind of uh, involvement in the blood um, causing abnormalities in the white cell counts and platelet counts.